QSC's new range of amplifiers include the CXD and this one, which is a member of the PLD family. This is a PLD 4.5. And the big feature on these is that they are basically dynamically reconfigurable mm. amplifier. Mm. Yep, you can save presets into these guys determining whether you're coming in uh, any of the four inputs on the back and summing a couple of them together or you know having uh, one input one output or picking whatever you're doing then doing processing on top of that uh, and either running like four separate channels at uh, 1150 watts at 8 ohms yep. or one channel at uh, 4200 watts at 8 ohms which yep. is pretty flexible so they're going for the kind of production company that's basically running like a line array one day and then going in and doing fold back on something with four sends the next day and then running a completely different rig the day after trying to get the most flexibility for your investment out of one amplifier that they can. How do you reckon they've achieved that goal? Uh, very well. Um, the, one of the smart things they've done here is, is, and I don't pretend to understand the intricacies of it, but traditionally if you wanted to get uh, high power out of an amplifier in single channel mode, you had to load it down to really low impedance, mm. i.e. you know like two or four ohms. Mm. You actually at, at 4 ohms you get the same output power as you do at 8 ohms so what mm. they've done is they've given you usable power mm. uh, at, at higher impedance which is really cool. Mm. Um, the way the amplifier summing works it, it's, it's a system called FAST which is QSC's acronym for flexible amplifier summing technology and, and it, it basically it takes each of the amplification blocks and, and either parallels or bridges and does various other things basically you tell the amplifier what you want to do with it and it will configure itself accordingly. And the nice thing is that there's actually presets built in. So you can say, I want to drive uh, a sub with two channels paired up, then I want to drive uh, a mid, then I want to drive a high frequency mm -hmm. uh, and you can apply appropriate roll offs and delays and things like that. Uh, and then take your outputs from the back. And it, it's very clever. Yeah, it's a, it's a very compelling offer to the production company. It's light. It's, it's easy to, uh, to take around, you know, you don't have to have the extra speaker processor on top of it and you can drive whatever's in your inventory already. Yeah, and look, I mean, to, to be fair, this is not the first time we've seen an amplifier mm. that can do this, but th this is the first time we've seen one for about half the price mm. <laughs> that will do it. So uh, I think good value to be had there, um, plenty of go, and, and I think really where this is going to pay for itself is the fact that you can build uh, a bunch of amp racks mm. with, you know, four or eight of these or whatever, it's not incredibly heavy, you know, you could put several mm. of these in a rack and mm. conceivably still move it, uh, which helps. But it's the fact that you can send that rack out to, to run eight cents of wedges one day or four mm. cents of biamp wedges or, you know, half a line array and, you know, some infills the next day. And you can save all your presets for your various things that you plug in and your various configurations and then just recall whatever you need on the day. Yeah, too easy.